Hi, it's Christian here and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Tonight I'll be tying this one. See how it goes. This one. Really nice one. And this pattern is not one of mine. But my German friend uh, Oliver Ötze, Ötze who, uh, has, who has made the fly, this pattern. The 72 it's called and uh, I've been looking at that pattern for a long time and the other night I was trying, I was trying to, 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 to tie it. But I looked deep in my stash of materials and I did not have the materials. Even my friends didn't have it, so that ended up in a, a variant of the 72, this one. So this is a variant of Oliver Ulse's uh, 72 in a, in a grey version. But I've studied his fly uh, really, really a lot and tried to be true to the pattern. It looks very, very promising in my opinion. So, uh, so why not uh, try that one as well? The thread is the like Beavis uh, power thread, and uh, Oliver he uses some uh, some whiting uh, bird fur in ginger. Don't have that, so it has to be the this uh, grey one. Haven't found much use for that stuff anyway, but now I can use it. So it's nice, some uh, teal uh, mallet teal feathers. Um, I'm gonna use some uh, senior laser dot in the dark tan and some uh, natural color squirrel for the tail. And the hook I chose is the light stinger from Avex in size 6. I'm gonna secure the whole thing with some red sap underneath. And the strike point is gonna be the spawn semi seal dubbing in the UV slow burn uh, flame. Uh, color it's called and a set of three millimeter uh, twin eyes from Flyco. These ones, however, he used the screen ones, but of course, I didn't have the light either, so it had to be, the, had to be these. And uh, found some crappy uh, hen cape here with some grizzly, grizzly. so we're gonna need a li little bit of that because I couldn't get my bird fur to of my bird fur working uh, properly and find the correct feathers for it, so I had to choose that one instead. But uh, yeah, it's a really variant of, uh, of Oliver's very nice flying pattern. So uh, let's try it, try it, here we go. Okay, here we go. This is the one we are tying, the 72 in the gray version, variant of the original one. And the hook I chose is the Light stinger from from Erix in size six and a black power fit. This is from from Mavis. and I'm gonna start by taking some of this UV slow slow burn flame semi seal dubbing. This is a very cool one, in my opinion. Used this one before. This dubbing is really nice. In my opinion, just gonna make a little. But just down here, little strike point. Here. Very nice and subtle. Nothing big or anything, but just a little bit. Like that. There we go. Then I'm gonna find a teal feather and uh, prepare that. I'm gonna get rid of all this uh, fluffy shit and uh, make it. Make it small, let's see. And align that. I want it even smaller. Here, up on top. The stem here. Let me just adjust the length of my little tail here with the by pulling a bit. Making sure it's straight 
Yes, I guess it is. Now, I'm gonna tie that in. You can just brush out a little there. Brush out the semi-shell gently. Just a little bit. There you go. Then it is time for this stuff. I don't think that's uh, is what you're supposed to using in the original recipe, but something similar at least it was. I'm gonna grab a bunch of these uh, these long squirrel hairs and get rid of the fluffy shit down here. That's just the length so they're a little bit or you about the same length as the, as the mallet. Just place them on top and tie those in as well. I'm gonna tie in the rest as well. Up on top of the sh on top of the chain costume. Give the light a little bit of volume. Go. And all the way back. Go. Next up is this stuff the uh, whiting bird fur in. This is the crystal one. It was supposed to be ginger, but sorry, Oliver, I don't have that one. I have this. I bought this a uh, long time ago, and I haven't had much use for it, to be honest, because I find it quite crappy, to be honest. But it could uh, go as, uh, as bay feathers. But the thing I'm gonna do, and I can finally find some use for these ones, is I'm gonna Strip, strip these, these fibers in a bunch. I'm gonna do that. And I'll show you in a sec. So I'm gonna strip, strip each uh, side of the stem from fibers. Fibers on these bird fur, bird fur feathers are not very good, in my opinion. But I'll end up with a bunch like this, a little bunch, and I'm gonna just gonna trim this shit off. You see, and try to. Somehow, somehow, align the length of the fibers. Place these on top as well, and make them a little longer than the scramble. And tie that in on top of the thigh. You can just spread it out a little bit. It's got to be a nice tail, this one. Tie this in. Here, where I'm at, where I'm at now, I am going to take these ones. My three millimeter twin eyes, um, and tie those in as well underneath the hook shank. Up here in the front. Mm -hmm. 
this is where the this this is where the power fit is really good because you can really put some pressure on the on the on the fret. Like that. So it won't go anywhere. And with that done, I'm gonna go backwards with my fret again. And then uh, take some uh, some UV resin. Just to secure the eyes so they won't go anywhere. Little drop of nice thin UV resin from Raytap that's gonna soak right into the material and make those eyes stay where they are supposed to and sap it. Then I'm gonna take my dubbing, which I put here, the senior laser dub in dark tan. I've used this one before actually in, in other patterns. It's really a nice one. Brownish, light brown with some, some green stuff in it. So I'm gonna dub a little bit of that on my thread. And uh, it's about a half a centimeter or so. I want dubbing because I need three sets of of heckles. So it's not much space to do it on. So don't go overboard here. Just gently comb this out a little bit. Go. Then it was time for the feathers, the grizzly hen feathers. And I prepared these in advance so they look like this. It's not more than this, really. You can see how crappy quality it is, but there was the only one once I had. But um, yeah, it's not much, uh, much of a heckle feather this one. So I'm gonna prepare that and tie that in at the tip. You see, like this, like a little Christmas tree. Get your hagel pliers out. And then just nice and easy here. Take words. And with the first heckle done, I'm just gonna lock it with my thread, like that. And break out the senior laser dump again. Senior laser dub is really nice to top with, it's really easy. I like it. There we go. The same amount of dubbing and uh, also half a centimeter or so. Before tying that in, uh, 
and taking my next feather. I have all of those also prepared. I really need to get some bigger. Some better grizzly feathers. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I think I got these from some what I want a, a lucky starter pack once, many years ago. And you know, it's, you keep it to hold on to things. I, I, at least I, at least I do hold on to things and not get rid of them, even though they are crabby. Never mind. Gets the job done. So. We are heckling again. Heckle away, here we go. Here we go. Rolling backwards. Nice and slow. Okay. Dubbing everywhere. You see the dubbing through the through the the feather fibers. Looks nice. In my opinion, yeah, it looks great when it's wet, I guess. Here we go. Just trim this. You see where this is going? Looks nice. Then another little bunch of, of pins even. It's not more than that. Really not much. Is this stopping again? See? I'm running running out of room now. You better be careful. A lot of space. I'm gonna manage this is it. Then I got a third feather prepared, and it's important that you take feathers that are at least uh, similar in size. If you have a less crabby grizzly cape than I do, then it should be no problem. I'm gonna tie that in. back and slowly this is the hardest one to be on just has a little room Secure it here. There we go. 
and at the very least at the end you just need a bit more of your senior laser dot dark tan here to cover the thread in between the eyes and underneath it. Make a nice finish. And then you have a variant of Oliver Bolts's uh, fly the 72. And, uh, I spoke to Oliver the other day, he even sent me, gonna send me a, because he felt sorry for, for me, I guess. He's even gonna send me a little packet of the correct materials to make this fly the proper way. But for now, this will have to do. And I think that'll work as well, to be honest. This one, I think it has some nice colors. Well, there's a question of, I guess there's a bit of, uh, of taste, how much dubbing you want in here between or around the eyes. I don't want, I don't want too much, to be honest. So I'm just going to stop it here and just finish. And a bit of that. Drop of varnish when you when you finish, and then just a small and gentle brush here. But there you have uh, there you have my little variant. Of the 72 in a grey version. Uh, I hope you like it, Oliver, <laughs> and uh, the rest of you, are, of course, as well. Um, and we'll uh, tune in another time for some more tutorials on my little channel. I will see you next time. Bye bye.